So we're canine here with our puppy Bear. He's three months old just about in this video. And we have of course clicker conditioned him so he knows when it clicks the reward is coming. And we are working on the place and the place command in the following session of this video. So we have the behavior pretty much established. He knows the site of the place board, means hopping on there will be triggering the click and will be followed by a treat. I indirectly reward him at this point, which means he gets the reward after the click off the doggy cart. So I click when he gets on there, all four feet and I reward him off the cart. The purpose of that is to create some fluency of the behavior to reoccur. He is doing it again after he is off of the board. I click for getting on and feed him off. Reset, does it again, click, get the reward off, indirectly. So he doesn't get rewarded directly on the board. The click just tells him, this is right, what I just did, and I get the reward, and I'll be doing it again. <clears throat> At this point, I'm waiting for him to standing still or being still while he's on the board, I'm beyond the point of clicking for actually going on there. Here's the next consecutive session with Bear, working on the place, going onto the cart. I'm still after fluency, get the click for going on there. And you get the reward off the board and we reset for the next repetition. So now behavior is predictable. After you get the click for going on there. And getting the reward off the board. We can predict or bet that he's going to do the same behavior again. So <coughs> I'm ready to Place. put a cue to the behavior because I have it. Place. So I Place. call the behavior a name, I label it, because Place. I can tell he's going to do it. Place. Here, luckily my hand was loaded because he didn't see Place. the toss, so I had a chance to just Toss again. So that was a big improvement. I take the board away Bear. and I'm working on Bear. name conditioning, which means that Bear. I call his name. He doesn't have to come to me. I'm just feeding Bear. him. So the end result is that if he hears his name, he knows food is coming from me, so he will Bear. come to me. Bear. Bear. So I make him go away from me by tossing, and I call because I know he's going to come back Bear. to me and learns to come to me when he hears his name. Good boy. Yeah. Nice. Here is the next consecutive session of place. him learning what the word place means. Again, I have place. the behavior, it's predictable. He's going to go on there after place. he gets fed off of the cot. Place. And I'll click place. for him going on there at the same time. I'm calling the command place. place. It could
could look like illusion, illusionary that the dog does it because I say so. No, right now the behavior is predictable and I'm just calling it a name, making the connection that this behavior has something to do with the words that you hear. Again, luckily, hand is reloaded. He didn't see me toss. So I tossed again real quick and made sure he gets off the board to reset. presenting a different picture because I just got up from a sitting position which always Please. pictures matter to the dog so he Please. doesn't necessarily learn to come toward me to get on the place I'm moving carefully around the place Please. and try to see if he's still doing the behavior even though the picture has changed and I'm not sitting anymore. Thanks. Works very well and here he gets his jackpot, his whole dinner.